Life Audio. Thank you for listening to Your Daily Prayer, a podcast dedicated to helping you find the words you need to connect with your Father in Heaven. No matter what is going on in your life today, you can trust that God wants to hear from you. Right after this short word from our sponsor, we will pray through today's prayer together. Hey, Harker Heights, there's a new 7-Eleven in town, now open at 307 East FM 2410 Road. Find all your favorites like Big Bite Hot Dogs, Pizza, Taquitos, Big Gulps, and Slurpees. Everything you need to get back on the go. Check out what's new with coffee from 7-Eleven. And be sure to grab one of our delicious fresh bakery items like a cookie or muffin. Visit the new 7-Eleven now open at 307 East FM 2410 Road. And download the 7 Rewards app to score free food and drinks. Has fear stolen your peace? I'm Jennifer Slattery, lead host of the Faith Over Fear podcast, helping you fight your fears and grow your faith. Subscribe at lifeaudio.com. We hope you enjoy this Your Daily Prayer devotional as part of our Mother's Day series this week. A Mother's Day Prayer for Courage, written and read by Jessica. Finrocal. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 6. I remember the sleepless nights when my grown up babies were babes in my arms. Their cries for comfort or hunger filled the midnight space, and I stumbled down the hall to scoop them up. I sat in a rocking chair and hummed a little song as they snuggled close. Then the years went by and they grew from baby to toddler to child to teen. My nights became my own again as I slept night after night, knowing they were tucked in safe and sound down the hall. And then they entered adulthood, and with it came the bigger cares of life. No longer can I hear their cries from down the hall and rush to soothe them. Instead, I lay awake and wrestle with wonder and worry. I still want to rescue them, to give them advice, and to see them take it. I want them to have a struggle-free kind of life. And then I remember. I remember Jesus' statement in John 16.33 that in this world we will have trouble, but to take heart because He has overcome the world. This verse brings me peace, and I cling to it for myself but I'm coming awake to the truth that my kids will have their own set of hardships, hence my midnight wrestling. On one hand, I wish a trouble-free life for them, but on the other hand, I don't, because it's in our difficulties where we grow the most, if we choose to do so. And this is the crossroads we mothers face. We know life is hard, but we know we will overcome when we choose to stay close to God. We want our adult sons and daughters to choose God's way of trust and embrace His presence in their lives. We also know life becomes hardest when someone walks away from God, and we cannot make them choose His way. And so we need extra courage. No one warned me about this when I nestled my babies in my arms. I needed courage to train them through the terrible twos, hurricane threes, childhood drama, and teenage angst but I had no idea the level of courage it would take to watch my kids navigate their first steps into adulthood. I need resolute courage to speak when God says to and to be silent when He instructs. I need gutsy courage to lay in bed at night and intercede for my children rather than worry. I need tenacious courage to trust God to guide my steps knowing He does a much better job than me. I need formidable courage to believe that even though they will struggle, they will know victory because Jesus says he overcomes the world. In Deuteronomy 31, Moses passed the mantle of leading the Israelites to Joshua. It was time to enter the promised land, but Moses could not go with them. He told them the Lord would go ahead of them to destroy the nations occupying their land and that they must obey the Lord's commands. 
I imagine there may have been some fear and trepidation about the future. After all, the last four decades had taken on a familiar routine. They gathered manna in the morning, lived in tents, and moved as the Lord directed. Now they faced an unknown future in an unknown land with a brand new leader. The risk for acute worry and diminished courage was high. Moses gave them three instructions, to be strong, to be courageous, and to do not fear. Then he implored them to remember, God goes with them, he won't leave them, and God won't forsake them. He commissioned them for their future. Mamas, we need the same instructions and reminders. It requires remarkable courage to entrust our grown-up kids to God. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you for the children you entrusted to me and help me be brave. I'm scared. Will they make the right choices? What kind of troubles will they face? Will you be there for them? Will you catch them or let them fall? I want to swoop in and rescue them. I want to tell them what their next step should be. But I entrusted them to you when they were tiny and I've got to re-entrust them to you now. You are with them and you will not forsake them. Help me have the courage to lean on you and give them space to follow your leading through their valleys and mountains. In Jesus' name, amen. Your Daily Prayer is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hey, Harker Heights. There's a new 7-Eleven in town, now open at 307 East FM 2410 Road. Find all your favorites like Big Bite Hot Dogs, Pizza, Taquitos, Big Gulps, and Slurpees. Everything you need to get back on the go. Check out what's new with coffee from 7-Eleven. And be sure to grab one of our delicious fresh bakery items like a cookie or muffin. Visit the new 7-Eleven now open at 307 East FM 2410 Road. And download the 7 Rewards app to score free food and drinks.